Back again with another quick tip on the BitBox 2. Uh, today I wanted to talk about outputs, um, specifically these here. Now if you just looked at what the faceplate of the module says, you would think that there's one stereo pair, out one and out two. In actuality, any of these four ports can be used to send sound out. So let's say that we load up a sound. I'm just gonna, uh, we'll just load up a sample. It doesn't really matter what. So automatically, by default, when a sample loads up, if you press info while looking at the sample, you can see the output here in the top left. And if you tap on that, you can see that we can select any of them. Now, out 1, 2, and FX 1, 2 will treat this as a stereo pair and this as a stereo pair. Uh, alternately, you can send it to out 1, out 2, FX 1, or FX 2, and it's going to send in mono. So you can have four mono, you can have two stereo, or you can have two mono and one stereo. There are a few advantages of doing this. Namely, if you group your sounds by some pattern or means, then you can have different signal paths and different processing applied to them. So for example, the way that I've been using Bitbox recently is I've been sending my bass drum to its own dedicated output. In this way, I don't apply any reverb and I can apply compression just to the bass drum. I've been sending the rest of my percussion to another mono output and I've been doing my pitched sounds as a stereo out here. Now, you can do that as well if you would like. An advantage of that is I put a little bit of light reverb on the rest of my percussion, and I put some heavy reverb on my pitched sounds. You could also think of these as four outputs for different bands of the frequency. For example, you could have one output be high, one output be mid, and one output be low. And again, you could have a dedicated bass drum output. There's a lot of flexibility. Starting to think about how you're using your samples and how you want to route them this actually becomes really helpful. I feel like I've unlocked a whole lot more of a bitbox by thinking about and grouping my outputs and then routing it through the rest of my modular. Well, that's today's quick tip. It was a pretty short one, but in my opinion, it's a very effective one. It'll make your patches better. Until next time.